Hi, and welcome to episode 36 of The Evil Empire. I'm Icon, and we're getting closer to the end of episode 1, just finishing a few key technologies, and I think then it's gonna be there. Another thing I want to do today right away is uh, I'm going to do a new chem fuel bin, uh, bill, and I'm um, going to use insect meat only, because there's no good reason for my colony to eat insect meat and um, it is a very good way to get rid of that stuff so we have this uh, mechanoid fight out over here the uh, power park is still um, still quite devastated and I consider reinforcing my defenses on this flank because uh, it was quite obvious how um, easily um, I can get attacked by sappers so we're still not there yet there's going to be a lot more um there's going to be a lot more turrets i guess i got those uh, big kill boxes here well it's it kill box is too much is too much it's not really a kill box it's just a shooting range <laughs> let's call it that and um i think i want to do similar things um on each side to have at least a, a sort of a shooting range to um, hide behind if everything um, if we get attacked from these flanks I imagine something here and I imagine something here I guess I'll even go outside of the prison colony with that because there is no reason not to this uh, corner here I imagined a lot a while ago to be part of the prison colony anyways so Putting up a nasty corridor of defenses would add charm to this idea, don't you think? So I got plenty of iron, I think. Yeah, 900 units, so building a few more walls wouldn't be a problem. I start to facilitate my walls more and more out of iron instead of steel. Because, um, well, obvious reasons, I guess. So we're going to make uh, a, a nice long wall on this side. And... Um, going to force my enemies a bit like that so this way I have a clear entry point of my enemies right here I can take cover with my people right here oh let's do one more thing that's always good because this wall is always the one taking the most shots um, making it double layered makes things a lot easier too so um, where is my power conduit we gotta pull through a few more wires all right so uh there's always a new project here i guess but uh that's okay so anya and freeman are uh working on that spot and uh there's one thing i really uh I, that's really important to me and that's the repair of this area i always have a bad feeling if my power generators are um are oh, what's the word damaged <laughs> yeah sometimes in the morning hours translating is not working as quick as i wanted to and there is of course a research project i just got distracted by the uh defenses okay so like heat refining is definitely what i need for um my prisoners because the basic idea is that my human resources department it was always bad uh, badly stocked it is meant to have only the finest accommodating substances to make my people happy you know it's like uh implants for the upper crust and drugs for the lower people it's a perfect society um, if you're playing nice, you're even uh, allowed to uh, sip some Lucy. Uh, maybe not. But there is an interesting idea to uh, bring up some soldiers from for the Luciferian program. Like, uh, people that I don't even want to keep um, using them as uh, living weapons. I, I like the idea. So, maybe let's do that one day. For now, I'm going to sell off the Luciferium because... Um, Come on, can we please clear away that corpse pile? What should the people think when we bring them in there? There's uh, the leftovers of something rotten on the rotting on the floor here. Man. Cheers. Good work, Anya. 
I rejuvenated her last episode and I'm um, going to check out if my if the rest of the inner circle needs some more rejuvenations. Well, I want to give Anya one more of them because I feel like it's time to uh, to rejuvenate her a bit. I'll get her over here because I always prefer to do um, risky operations in in good uh, in the vicinity of good equipment. Uh, this room is a bit dirty. Well, how about that? Let's just. Uh, I like this idea. This way, the dirt from outside stays outside, you know. So let's see. There we go. 61 years now. Let's go for another round. It's a little bit weird that uh, I can't do the same operation so many times in a row, but that's how it works. Alright, 55. Ah, come on, one more. I really want her to uh, to be closer age-wise to the rest of the um, council, you know. Cargo pots, let's check that out in a sec. 50 years. That's uh, That sounds like a good age for Anya, being the eldest of the inner circle. Oh yeah, there's money falling from the sky. That's the best money. No de denying about that. Money falling from the sky is the best money. Hollywood has taught me that. Training rats. Isn't that a total waste of time? Well, not really. The tameness training is a good way of uh, pumping up my animals level. And uh, at the same time, well, the rats don't go wild. That's not really a, uh, a plus, but... My people training their animal skill is the actual advantage. Okay, yo Lumpy, you're lazy, just wandering. You're already fully recreated. Man, there's plenty of work to do at the smelter. So uh, I've decided to go against Lumpy's uh, preferences and I don't care about his preferences. You are a top-notch crafter, Lumpy. Anya is confused due to beauty and aesthetics. When? Which mod did that add or did it get added to the base game? I've never seen that and I keep seeing that more regularly now. If people are wandering around under an aesthetic uh, influence. Must be a mod, I guess. For sure. So, we're going to do one bionic leg for Anya. Come on. Oh, simple prosthetic leg. Going into bionic leg. Wonderful. I really like that crafting process. It feels good. It feels really good. Okay, I've got oil. Oh, I didn't refine that yet. Well, whatever. A flash storm. Where it's at? Nowhere important. Bad work assignment. No, that is uh, absolutely my, uh, not bad. That's what he wants. He just doesn't know it. He wasn't aware of the fact that he wants to craft. Yeah, I'm overriding a incapability uh, right there. But I'm the evil empire. It's my job to cheat wherever I can with a given means. I really started to uh, see that as one of the goals of the series to uh, to cheat creatively, be a be a master villain, you know, because that's what villains regularly do. They cheat. It's exactly what villains do. All right, recoil. What you're up to? Yeah, he's doing the prosthetics. Awesome. So Anya is still uh, confused due to the anesthetics. It's a little bit sad because she's going to wander around uh, uselessly again. Because <laughs> we're going to implant her that leg soon. Because I want nobody being scarred and unhappy anymore. Oh, we need two of them. Okay. 
Let's do that right again, yo. Nice. I'm really happy to be able to craft my own bionics now. So, how is my plasteel? Ooh, got plenty. You recoil. I'm. Yeah, okay, you go some cloud watching. It's fine. I'm ta I'm taking your your moodiness less seriously lately. But uh, yeah, let's let's finish that, man. Ooh, of course. Yeah, whatever. He's now doing a pr a simple prosthetic f first because I changed the bill. Of course. It only makes sense what he's doing there, but that's okay. He's gonna finish the bionic lag afterwards. There we go. No recall. I don't like it when they do that. And, uh, alright. Freeman is, uh... Growing angry at Brit. Brit is, uh, just... Threatening Freeman with the arrest, and then she's uh, snapping out of it. A fairyless clutch mother. <sighs> Some call it a, a risky event. I call it an opportunity. I mean, taming these animals would be a quite dangerous thing. Oh man, if I only had some human resources, that would be uh, making my decision easier. Hmm. So I'd say I'll wait until this thing has at least laid one, laid one egg which I want to pick up and use. I mean, I got, I'd i really like to have a, a, a sibling like Sam. Those uh, Feralisks are, well, they're not inflicting burning damage on, on the attack, but apart from that, they're awesome too. I mean, come on, why shouldn't I want that? But then again, everything hatching from these beasties is wild. So I need to tame that. How high is the... Uh, Tame revenge chance, tame chance, zero percent. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. It's the clutch mother. But let's say I'd assume that it's similar, like Sam, similar to Sam. And um, revenge chance on tame fail, ten percent. Yeah, I'll take that risk because I can control the risk. Even I'll uh, drop the fairy risk eggs down in the human resources department because. Obvious reasons. Um, going to make sure that the animals are not allowed to eat it. So, I'm gonna exclude some area there. So, um, yeah, all right, never mind. The uh, clutch mother is uh, destroying herself thing about that monster is I would need to uh, rescue it now and uh, get it healthy and yeah, things so I'll just uh, if it wants to die it'll die no no problem fine for me okay now how's my steel sword <sighs> I have no steel bottom line I have no steel dang so, um, and I got a bionic leg. Let's use that. Um, install bionic leg, left leg, perfect. Okay, so Anya is meditating. Yeah. Let the woman play some chess. Oh, one of the rare moments. The inner circle is interacting with the, uh, oh no. Anya disregarded uh, Lumpy's play and uh, just did what she wanted to. That's more more like it. All right. After she's done with her uh, daily things, I'm going to um, make sure only the best um, available doctoring makes that bionics implant happen. Oh man, I I'm today bad with uh, sentences. I'm sorry. I'm very German this morning. My brain wants to work German. And then I have a hard time formulating some, sometimes, I don't know. Maybe that's normal even if you're a native speaker. I, I don't have a clue. Caffeine binge, Brit. Understandable. At least understandable. I mean, all right, let's... Uh, let's 
let's just uh where's the by where's the implant obviously already lying on her yeah here i can select it so selected it's under her pillow ah look at here no more problems for anya i'm so happy it begins friends it begins so transhuman is quite pleased two artificial parts are better than one i wish i had more <laughs> don't worry you'll get there everybody gets there so um Freeman even needs two bionic legs. This will uh, make her role as a fighter even more um, visible. We're just going to replace bo both legs at some point, I understand that. Okay, but uh, <laughs> well, research is not getting done at all with all these uh, breakdowns and uh, binges. I guess she uh, destroyed all the iced co uh, coffee now. It's fine, Brit, it's fine. I guess Anya will be uh, having a confusion breakdown any moment again because she's still uh, woozy from the anesthetics, I guess. But um, I like the idea. This woman was uh, way past 70 years, if I rem remember her age correctly, a few days ago. And now she's uh, better than new. No more pain um, because of the scars and... Uh, even very very happy because of the bionics so icy awakening nothing better than iced coffee to refresh yourself all right i wouldn't call icy awakening a positive thing from the first glance of it but that's okay so um steel I, I need more of that stuff but uh nothing's getting done in time so um Recoil, how are you? Get some breakfast and smelt her some, man. I mean, we have uh, more than enough. Uh... Psychid refining. All right, wake up, go juice, and panoxicillin. I'll go over to panoxicillin now, because that's the next, uh, next best important thing. And uh, now we're going to set up a drug production. Where is it? Electric drug lab. There we go. So, well, let's make that out of silver. What? Why? Because I can. So, how about that? I can't do uh, some storage for drugs and such over here. Turns out that this mountain area here um, grows more and more important to my um, schemes. So I don't have a heater in here. Okay. There. I don't want uh, a the lack of a heater lowering my work speed here. Just realized how unnecessary that is. Yeah, there goes recoil. That's how we fetch some steel. That's an odd pathing. All right, I'm letting him off the hook for today. Produced a few hundred units of steel for me. That's good. So, turns out all the training with the animals is uh, really uh, time-consuming. Especially uh, establishing the tameness on the rats. But then again, Lumpy is already having a, level of, a skill level of 10 on animals, so I don't want to stop that. It's such a good training, especially considering that uh, yeah, Brit is turning into a master, um, beast master due to that. So, it's worth the time. It's definitely worth the time. It does eat up lots of time of uh, Lumpy's work table though. But, uh, well, Lumpy is not really um, the most versatile person in my colony. I originally hired him to kill stuff. He didn't uh, quite excel at this uh, job, but he uh, also didn't uh, mess it up completely so far. <laughs> All right, 
So let's uh, let's do this. I need one more bionic leg. Um, this one hasn't been made yet. Ah, here. Okay, we have already. I only need one more. All right. So I'll really uh, take care of that. Uh, a few important things are getting done first. Replenishing my steel supplies is one of those. I don't know where... Uh, uh, what, I had 40 uh, components in one moment and now I have uh, 12 in the other moment and all I can remember building was that uh, drug lab. I don't know where all these components disappeared into but uh, I'm not really too interested in, uh, in knowing where they went. All right, Lumpy, your, uh, your shift is over for today. 600 steel now. Panoxicillin researched. So let's go for some wake up and go juice. Uh, heroin and morphine. Good stuff. All right, let's see. Um, Extract Nutramine from Spider Snake Shed Skin. Oh, tobacco. That's something I really want to have, too. I mean, these guys are transhumanists. If the lungs uh, go down to that stuff, replace them. <laughs> uh, cyanide. I should have a few doses of that, too. But apart from that, for all the better stuff, I'll need uh, something bigger than psychoid leaves, but uh, flake and yayo. We going big now. So I'm going to fetch up some more mud bricks for the uh, um, hydroponic, no, the planter pots. And I just realized how much... Uh, Opportunity is lying down there still. I mean, I didn't even open the cryptos, uh, crypto sleep caskets. Ooh, bumble drone migration. You see, it's a lot of kitine and a lot of insect meat. And now I even have a use for that stuff. A Stella Mining Company. Stone blocks! That's what it means. Stone blocks! Stone for Alpha 1. Awesome. Let's just hope I have a few things for sale. Oh, I do have a stockpile of nutrient means that I wasn't aware of. Okay. So here, take some of the funky leather. You guys like that. I know it. And um, what's fitting better to an, a villain's uh, fortress than obsidian? I'd take the slate too, but I'm quite broke right now. <sighs> oh, I can sell the Lucy. Awesome. I don't want to stockpile Lucifer right now. The uh, herbal medicine, I'm going to sell that off too as a... Uh... Oh yeah, here we go. You see? Money. So, uh, slate. I'm going to pick up all your slate. Again, I'm rounding to uh, these digits because I know that this stuff will only... Um, be, will be only left behind and uh, not be used. So, um, yeah, let's make that deal like this. Is there anything more I want to sell? That Kitine stuff I can sell. The crude oil? No. It's unrefined. I don't like to um, sell off unrefined things unless it's uh, human leather. So, that's that. They got components for sale. Oh boy, they got advanced components for sale. Uh, Gotta make myself poor and that. The thing about advanced components is quite simple. They contain plasteel and gold, and therefore it's uh, quite hard to, or it's harder to produce them by yourself. And that's why I really like to stockpile that stuff wherever I can. Simple reason, it's easier to buy it from other people than crafting it yourself because you don't, you can use your gold and plasteel for other projects, therefore. So, here goes the blocks. I'm going to store all my stone blocks over at this place. There's never going to be too many of them, I'm sure. So I think one of those areas will be enough. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get the um, get um, get season one done today. Wait a sec. So you want me to kill stuff with five soldiers? 
for honor, a mega screen telly or goodwill. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this room is uh, almost done. But no, I don't want to go for an attack job right now. Mainly because I would need to put the uh, inner council at risk. And uh, then again... Ah, well, I got 10 days for that job, so... Uh, who knows what'll happen during that 10 days. Um, speaking about which... Uh, I want to uh, get this done here. Or no, she doesn't need breakfast. All right. She got some potatoes on her. Worst case scenario, that's enough food. Okay, now, Crypto Sleep caskets at this point of the game are quite dangerous, and therefore I'll uh, take it uh, take it carefully, wait until the slurry peats have uh, rolled over here. And um, I want to have a very direct um, escape route here. Therefore, I'll rather deconstruct that thing. Send my send the person with the uh, jump pack over here to open this thing and let hell loose. That's basically what's going to happen here. Or nobody's attacking me. Sometimes you're having a heavy assault from uh, angry space marines and sometimes something like that happens. Fast learner and psychopath, undergrounder and slow learner. So you see, there's two types of people in life. There's Leonid, the fast learning psychopath. <laughs> Never mind. You can fill in the blanks for yourself. Whatever might be the case, this woman is very, very talented. It's almost a shame to put her into the human resource department, but I don't mind. This uh, one is going to get captured. This one is going to get um, Quite happy, seriously. Uh, I expected a lot more, a lot more trouble, but um, bottom line, we got the job done quite quickly. Awesome. So, man, still quite tempted to uh, take a shot on those Bumble Drones. Relations with Ancients have uh, broken down completely. What? Who are these Ancients you're talking about? And uh, why is nobody uh, taking care of uh, Ryuiki? Oh man, I need a, I need a uh, easier name for her. So, let's call her Rio. So, Brit, by all means, don't let the uh, human resources go bad. I mean, seriously. Would be such a waste, after all. Alright, Leonid will be recruited. That's uh, without any question. This guy is uh, extremely well suited for life in uh, Alpha 1. It's a good shot. He's no transhumanist, but uh, transhumanists are hard to come by after all. And Rio will be, uh, yes, forced to work, exactly. Well, I'm going to uh, go on the work and recruit way this time. Yeah. There's one thing, Rio is so talented she's the she's excellent as uh she's an excellent candidate for um the segment between alpha one colonists and uh the human resources the nameless human resources because um i want to uh establish a few colonists in this uh, place that are effectively um of course a lot lower than uh, anybody else, so they'll get a your own uh, work schedule, a own um, clothing clothing schedule, drug schedule. So they're they'll even be uh, forbidden from entering these areas. So I'm going to lock a few doors for them. I guess I don't know. It's such a pain to configure that, but whatever. Um, bottom line there is uh, my idea is people like Rio will be. Um, used to die first whenever there's like a, uh, a mechanoid cluster to wake up it's exactly where i'm going to use people like her 
that's that's the idea why I want to hire that. I um, got the idea between the lines um, in some comments lately, which I really liked. That was a really good idea because the prisoner work system, well, I could amp it up to uh, let it work um, more versatile, but I don't want to um, have my slaves to sophistic uh, to um, working on too sophisticated projects. That's that's not how it was meant to be. Like uh, these guys are 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 meant to be my um, my lowest tier, you know. So there we go. But uh, one good thing about Rio, she's good with plants. Very good with plants. And down here, my new uh, psychoid. Uh, fields will be going <laughs> oh no not another one of those this time this time i'm not going to take it if this thing is going towards my base i'm going to shoot it down so that's going to be uh the next episode friends thanks for watching we're going to do roll one more episode uh for season one and then we're going to see what will happen in season two because i feel like that's uh, exactly they're exactly where i want them to be um, giving Anya a few implants was almost season two, but whatever. I, I just enjoyed myself too much, and I hope you guys did as well. Leave me a comment down below, leave me a like if you wanna, or join the community, drop a subscription, make me happy. Turn on those notifications if you wanna, don't if you don't, and uh, have a good time. See you soon, bye bye.